Marissa Bartley. Um, I am a business development officer at Citizens Bank and I'm actually from Media, Pennsylvania, which is a small suburb outside of the uh, city of Philadelphia. Uh, what brought me to Pittsburgh, I actually went to undergrad at the University of Pittsburgh. Um, and so I came here in 2001 and loved my experience at the University of Pittsburgh. But as soon as I graduated, I was part of the brain drain um, and immediately left the city and went to Chicago, Illinois, where I had my first uh, job in banking and loved the city of Chicago. I was 21 years old when I went out there, knew absolutely no one, uh, learned a lot about the business of corporate America and realized that you know in the Midwest it's really difficult to get back and forth to the East Coast. So I've spent more time at Midway Airport than I think I did in the city. <laughs> Um, and so two years later I decided I wanted to come home um, and home is relative and I came back to Pittsburgh um, and I've been here ever since and I think that Pittsburgh is, a, is an awesome place for young professionals to actually uh, grow and develop and I think that it's really easy to be a big fish in a small pond and Pittsburgh's that pond well, for me. Um, the opportunities that I found, the first opportunity I, I will say was the Urban League Young Professionals. I came back to the city in um, 07 and uh, joined Urban League Young Professionals and it was um, a, a smaller organization at the time, very um, grassroots focused. The president at the time was Latasha Mays and they were very focused on advocacy and um, how you can, you know, make Pittsburgh a better community. That that really was, you know, the focus. And if anybody knows Latasha Mays, you know that that's truly um, what she stood for at the time. And so um, got involved with that organization. I actually found my church here. I go to Mount Air Baptist Church. Now I sit on the board of trustees for them. Um, and just an overall want to make sure that, that Pittsburgh is a good place um, to, to work and live. And I think that when you get to Pittsburgh, it's easy to fall into the cracks if you don't get immersed in your culture and in, in your community really quickly. Um, but I find that that's the best way to meet people was to get involved with the community, um, get involved with your church, get involved, you know, at work, the different, you know, opportunities that they have available for you. Well, I think I said, like, you know, it's a it's the biggest town I've ever lived in. I, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's a city because it has that town feel. Um, a little bit of Midwest, even though technically we're, we're considered to be on the East Coast, people are a lot friendlier here than uh, Philadelphia, I will say. Um, and I think that it's easy to connect once you align yourself with a specific organization. Um, and what I mean by that is getting connected to an organization, whether it's Big Brothers, Big Sisters, whether it's Urban League, whether it's Pittsburgh Young Professionals, the, you know, NSBE, um, any of these organizations is an opportunity for you to meet transplants as well as homegrown Pittsburgh young people. Um, and I think that that's the best way to kind of get connected initially. And then from those organizations, you can actually build other relationships and get connected to the more seasoned folks from Pittsburgh, I'll say. <laughs> One of Pittsburgh's best qualities, I would say, is probably the cost of living here. Um, it's very um, affordable to own your own home and be financially successful um, and stable here in the city of Pittsburgh as a young person. I know that when I go back home and talk to my friends who live in D.C. or live in New York, there's no way that you can find anything for $200,000 um, in any of those cities that's even close to attractive. Um, and in Pittsburgh, you can own a three bedroom home um, with, you know, a two car garage for $200,000. And so you can get the quality of life that you have here in Pittsburgh is probably unmatched in any other, you know, major city. Um, I would say the number one organization that I'm I'm committed to um, is Urban League Young Professionals. I'm the president and I began my term in July of 2011. So, um, don't have too much time for anything else. I like to say that that's my second job. Um, sometimes it, it almost trumps citizens for the first. <laughs> but um, that's the my level of involvement. I actually just became a local member of the National Society of Black Engineers yesterday. Um, so I'm happy about that. Um, and also the um, being a, a 
board of, on the board of trustees for Mount Air Baptist Church. So um, majority of my time is tied up in Young Professionals Church. And well, the Urban League Young Professionals is an organization for the demographic is the focus of 21 to 39 years old. So um, that is the definition of young. The definition of professional is anyone who's proficient in their craft or trade. So we are, you know, we launched a kind of a new campaign to make sure that people knew what a young professional actually is. It's not someone that wears a suit to work every day. It's someone who's proficient in their craft. Um, and we recognize that some people didn't understand exactly what we meant by young professional. And that was something that I wanted to make sure we had a diverse group um, of entrepreneurs. We had different industry folks there, not just you know the financial and the government and the nonprofit. We wanted to make sure we had the you know salon owners, we had the custodians, we had the teachers, we had the attorneys. We we had a wide group of folks that were representative in our membership. Um, and so our focus is actually to support the Urban League of Greater Pittsburgh. And so we serve the African American communities, the underprivileged African American communities in the city of Pittsburgh. And we recognize you don't have to be African American to service those communities. So I, I really would like to you know, open those doors for a more diverse audience to come in um, and experience the local Pittsburgh movement, but we are a part of a national movement. So there are 53 chapters across the country that are doing the exact same work that we're doing here in Pittsburgh. Um, we have a five-point um, empowerment agenda that focuses on education and youth empowerment, economic empowerment, civil rights and racial justice, civic engagement, um, and health and quality of life. And those are what all of our programming are focused around. So anytime you see us doing anything, you should be able to tie any of the activities that we do back to one of those empowerment points. If you'd like to get involved, you can actually visit our website and it's www.ulypgh.org um, and you can just click join us, fill out that information, we'll immediately get you on our distribution list so you can find out all the great things that, that we have going Going on. Um, to be a member, we want you to be an active and engaged member. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to attend every monthly meeting that we have, but joining does mean that you'll be engaged in the service opportunities that we have. Um, we actually are having a string of activities um, for this weekend, which is our 10th anniversary year, um, is this month. So February 20th, 2012, we were founded by 24 of our founding members, um, and majority of them are still actually located in Pittsburgh. So it's really an exciting and amazing time for UOYP. Um, we have an Empower Hour this evening, and that's going to be hosted at Melange Bistro, um, where you can meet and greet our members and our leadership. Tomorrow, we're having an event at Duke. Duquesne University, sponsored by Starbucks, um, network like a rock star. So we realize that, you know, networking is something that some people don't necessarily know how exactly to do, and some people think networking is looking for your next date. So we want to make sure that people understand we want you to definitely set yourself apart when it comes to looking for that next job or looking for your first job. So how do you make sure that you're in the pile of rock stars and not the pile of maybes and forgettables? Um, and so Jamin Patel, who is one of Pittsburgh's young professionals who just graduated recently from CMU, wrote a book, The MBA Guide to Networking Like a Rockstar. Um, so we'll be hosting that event tomorrow in collaboration with the National Association of Black Accountants. And then Sunday is Urban League Sunday, which is a great opportunity to you know meet our leadership from the Urban League of Greater Pittsburgh because we are an auxiliary that supports them. Um, and so the board of the Urban League of Greater Pittsburgh will be present on Sunday, community leaders will be present on Sunday, and UOYP young professionals we will be present as well. Um, and it's just a time to get together and fellowship. Um, Esther Bush will be you know, addressing kind of the state of Black Pittsburgh, and then Reverend Brenda Gregg, who's also a board member, will be bringing the word that day. Clearly, if I'm going to say what is the best way to make friends and, you know, make professional connections, join UOYP. <laughs> That's the best thing um, that I think you can do in the city of Pittsburgh. We're a very well-connected group. Um, we like to collaborate with other organizations, so we're always going to tell any of the engineers, any of the accountants, any of the MBA students, you need to find your, your affinity groups, which would be you know the National Association of Black Accountants, National Society of Black Engineers, um, and National... Um, black MBA group um, and also we like working with we're actually having an event a collaborative event with the Pittsburgh young professionals so we want to make sure that you know 
we're focused on diversity and inclusion. Um, and we're not just so focused on making sure that the minority folks in Pittsburgh are connected, but the transplants that come here, we want you to join UOYP, but we also want to expose you to the other organizations that are available here as well. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.